Hello, welcome back to another one of Paul's beer reviews. Um, I've got a, uh, a porter for you, and it's a chocolate orange porter. And it's from my friends at Lord's Brewing Co. And it's a can of their Sunset Cocoa. It's coming in at 4.3% ABV. Let's take a little look at the artwork. There's the Lord's Brewing logo. We've got a beach with a sunset. Very nice, and it's got a nice kind of matte finish to the can, which I always like when breweries do that. Um, bit of spiel on it. It says, inspired by the famous spherical orange-flavoured chocolate confection. You know the one. Uh, this porter is stacked with cacao nib, sumptuous dark malts, orange zest, vanilla, and lactose to create a beer that is so akin to a dessert you might want to use a spoon. It's a 440ml can. Um... Uh, Ingredients, water, malted barley, malted wheat, yeast, orange essence, cacao nibs, vanilla, lactose, um, Dana and Brambling Cross hops. Sounds pretty good, this one. Sounds pretty good, 4.3% ABV. I do like a good porter. And this time of year, Christmas, a porter just feels right. Um, I hope everyone had a good Christmas day, by the way. I'm recording this on Boxing Day. I've had a very chilled Boxing Day today, but I hope you've all had a very Merry Christmas, and I hope you're enjoying your holidays and whatever you're doing with them. It's got a very creamy looking head. I'm going to pour this one. Very creamy looking on the pour. That's developed a massive head, which is just starting to come down a little bit now. sweet orange Leave that there. so there is dripped a bit on the table there is this porter and I'm holding it up to my light that you can't see there's a bit of red bleeding through this one it's not completely uh, dark but always looks a bit darker on the camera but there is some red bleeding through that that's not um, that's not as black as other porters or stouts but as you can see at the moment it's holding a solid two, two and a bit, two and a half finger of very slightly tanned, creamy looking head, quite foamy looking head as well. Really had a bit of life in it, you could hear it hissing away as I opened it. Let's get an aroma, I'll give it a bit of a, a wriggle, get me nose in, see what sort of aroma we're dealing with. That head does look really nice, let's get stuck in. Okay. I'm getting a bit of orange, we're getting a bit of vanilla. If I'm honest, I'm getting a very slight kind of citrusy washing up liquid kind of aroma. Um which isn't particularly appetizing. Definitely orange, definitely vanilla. Let's get all of that in there. Yeah, I'm definitely, I'm definitely getting like a citrusy kind of, it's, just, it's weird. It smells like a, a slight sort of washing up liquid. There's vanilla. A subtle cocoa. Definitely like an orangey essence as opposed to you know, proper orange. And a weird washing up liquid. That's the only way I can describe it in the aroma. It's a bit weird. Yeah, I'm going to get stuck in. Cheers. It's a bit thin. There's a 
slight roasted malt bitterness to it at the back end. Yeah, slight roasted malt coming through. Subtle dark chocolate. But that that washing up liquid thing that I, I spoke of with the aroma, it's there in the flavour as well. Um, the orange essence, is that what they wrote it as? Orange essence, yeah. The lactose content on this is quite light. It's quite thin, quite watery. It doesn't really coat the palate until the back end. The bitterness, the, the slightly roasted malt and slightly roasted bitterness is the only flavour for me that really hangs around. Um, you are getting a bit of that orange essence flavour, but it's for me, it's not a particularly nice orange flavour. It tastes slightly artificial and I'm... That washing up liquid thing isn't going anywhere. Uh, oh, it's just, this is disappointing. <laughs> I'm at the chocolate orange porter chocolate orange beer in general seems to be a really tricky style to master because I've had a few from different breweries now and I've never thought much of them and I was looking forward to this one I know this is one that they've been they've been working hard on lately um, but it's just not it's not ticking the boxes for me it um, excuse me it's just a bit it tastes a bit thin It tastes a bit artificial. Yeah, that kind of subtle carbonation hit is then followed up by that artificial, slightly washing up liquid tasting orange thing that they've tried. Um, I'm not getting nearly enough chocolate. And the orange flavour that is there is like it's more like an orange washing up liquid taste. Um, on the back end, there is a little bit of sort of roasted malt and a bit of hoppy bitterness there that's worth mentioning. Other than that, um, other than that, that's not very good at all. I'm afraid. I'm gutted. I'm gutted to say that. Um, oh dear. If you want a porter from Lord's Brewing Co, get their band and car because that's an incredible porter. That is not. That is not, unfortunately. Um, not for me, anyway. Not of my opinion. Uh, Sunset Cocoa from Lord's Brewing Company. I mean, I think that's the first Lord's beer I've had that um, I can genuinely say after drinking it, I've not enjoyed. Um, which is a shame. Which is a shame. Um... Yeah, I love a good porter, um, but that is just not a good chocolate orange porter for me. Um, I'm going to give that a 3 out of 10, I think. Um, I wouldn't drink it again. Um, I wouldn't spend my money on it again. No, that, that orange flavour, is it's, it's not right. It's not right. It doesn't taste right for me. Um, I've got another can sitting there i'll drink that one see if it's any different but uh if, if this one's anything to go on no, I, I just don't think that's a particularly good brew three out of ten for me sunset cocoa by lord's brewing company uh yeah really disappointing unfortunately but there you go i hope you've enjoyed the video guys give it a thumbs up if you have until my next one you take care